Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the 10th of January. James Spann here. Maybe some active weather across the state tonight in the form of strong storms. Uh, we'll obviously spend some time on that. Let's get right to it and check out some of the images on the Alpha SkyCam network this afternoon. First off, coming from Trustville, it's been kind of a cloudy, foggy, rainy day. And the air is cool and stable and no severe weather issues, obviously, now. Uh, readings are mostly in the upper 50s. We'll work our way south. That's the Montgomery Sky Cam on the Eastern Bypass. Low clouds and fog there, some light rain. And down south, a murky sky over the Gulf of Mexico. That's seen from our Sky Cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites, overlooking the public beach. The upper low that brought big snows to the Permian Basin of Texas is working its way east. And you can see the active convection mainly down there in the Gulf. That's where some wild weather is more than likely occurring now. Here's a surface chart, uh, surface low around uh, Lake Charles. And again, it's a stall boundary just meandering back and forth around here, keeping us socked in with the clouds and fog. We'll check the uh, severe weather parameters. That's the uh, surface-based cape at uh, mid-afternoon, and you can see there is none here, really. Uh, you want to get the uh, numbers over 500 joules, you have to go down to southeast Louisiana, about around Baton Rouge, or down in the open waters of the Gulf. The, with the rain, we're just cool and stable. And it's going to be tough to get that unstable air up in here. Could happen late tonight, but it's going to take a while. Now, this is the helicity, the 0 to 3 kilometer helicity, and the numbers are actually pretty high, and we've known that all along. It's going to be a high shear, low cape deal. The highest shear values are just north of Montgomery and also over in Arkansas. And that is the uh, significant tornado parameter, the STP, and hey, hey, uh, look at that big old three down there over the Gulf of Mexico. I'm telling you, that there's probably some, you know, tornadic activity in the middle of nowhere over the open water of the Gulf right now with these big water spouts. Uh, but up this way, obviously, uh, with the situation, there is no STP showing up. And that's the deal. It's been raining on us. Uh, that's the uh, radar at 2 o'clock. Good uh, light rain falling around Birmingham and Tuscaloosa and south of Interstate 20. Some really moderate rain down toward uh, Lake Wadawi and Auburn and Opelika. Here's a national watch warning map. Pretty quiet today. Got some flood watches uh, for parts of the uh, southern Appalachians, winter weather advisory over Montana. That's about it. But there's the deal. We've still got that slight risk from an SPC. They've not changed it uh, for much of Alabama, basically now from uh, about Decatur and Anniston South. It does not include northeast Alabama. It includes almost all of Mississippi and parts of Arkansas. And then tomorrow, the uh, low end 5% risk is to the east. And there's the rain for the next five days, valid through uh, Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. Rain amounts about three quarters to one inch, and the bulk of that will be tonight and tomorrow morning, as after that we trend dry. Let's look at the uh, HRRR, the uh, new RUC. This is the surface based instability after midnight tonight. This is actually 08Z, that's 2 a.m. And you can see there's a little sliver coming up through here. Uh, through West Alabama. I'm telling you, might if we, we see any severe weather, it could very well be after midnight tonight. And look at the helicity values uh, at the same time. This is 2 a.m. Uh, those numbers are exceeding 300 units. So there's a lot of you know shear in the lowest one kilometer in relation to storm motion, which can set those updrafts into motion. So if we can get some surface-based storms after midnight, there might be a you know small tornado involved. In fact, look at the... Uh, uh, zero to one kilometer shear in knots. I mean, we're talking uh, 50 knots plus of shear, and that's a lot there. So, well, I, it's going to be one of these late nights. You know, it's very limited instability, but those numbers are certainly favorable. This is the forecast uh, sign uh, supercell composite uh, tonight at midnight. And that uh, maxes out there at a 1, and that's the uh, significant tornado parameter. It maxes out at a 1 in a zone there from Tuscaloosa down to about Bruton uh, tonight. And, again, that's a low number. You know, for, for April 12th, the numbers at the top of the peg there. They were 10, which is as high as they go. So eh, we'll say the better chance of severe weather maybe uh, 8 o'clock tonight until 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Kind of marginal, but with those, you know, shear parameters, you can't blow this thing off. We'll be watching carefully late tonight. All right, let's go to the GFS tomorrow at noon. Upper low is near Chattanooga on the way out. Surface low 
Uh, just north of there, 1,000 millibars. We'll probably see some wraparound clouds and, you know, light rain. It'll be kind of a cooler day. Probably stay in the uh, 50s all day tomorrow. The uh, NAM is showing a high of 57. Thursday, we start to turn colder. Uh, the GFS has dropped the high down to 49 on uh, Thursday. Um, and again, it's uh, that's probably sounds about right. Clouds, may, you know, you might may mention a few sprinkles there with that front coming in, but nothing significant. Friday, not a real sharp trough over the east, but still colder. There's the surface chart, and you can see the 540 line is down to about uh, Montgomery. And Saturday, the 540 line drops almost down to Dothan. So uh, both Friday and Saturday, we're probably looking at highs in the uh, 40s. Here's a look at Saturday coming off the uh, European. Pretty much the same deal. The 540 line down to about Dothan. So highs in the 40s both days. Lows well down in the 20s, both Friday and Saturday morning. It'll be much colder than recent days, uh, but dry. Sunday still looks dry off the GFS. Remember yesterday at this time, it had that big wave of rain coming in here, and we said bogus, and sure enough, it is. Uh, the European was right on it. We'll start to warm up with highs back in the uh, low and mid-50s. Monday, we stay dry with mid-50s. And then Tuesday, uh, the model consistent in trying to bring in the next chance of rain. Nothing severe, no ice, no snow, just a little rain. We'll dig deeper. This is the 25th of January. Pretty good-looking trough to the west. That may be kind of stormy, if that's right. And on the 26th, the uh, trough rotates in here with colder air. But again, uh, if it turns cold out there, no sign of anything long-lasting. You just got to flip that NAO to negative, and it hasn't happened yet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.